Seven Rolly Things, D&D, &D, actual D&D, &D, um, with Christine as, that's me, as the DM, Sam. Hello, I'm, <laughs> it's Sam playing <laughs> Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys can go and turn. Um, how about Andy first? Just who you are and what you who you're playing. Ooh, Andy, buddy. Andy? Oh, uh, uh, wait. Um, I missed that because my mom called me. Um, oh, what do we? Again. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, caught you in the act. <laughs> um, so just, you know, say your name, who you're playing and stuff since we're still pretty new. Uh, okay. Um, I'm Andy and I play um, Kess the half, half, ah, fuck. a half... <laughs> Yeah, I keep saying, I keep trying to say half ranger. <laughs> half <laughs> ranger. <laughs> I know how to speak. It's okay. Uh, Pam? Um, hi, I'm Pam, and I'm playing the half elf rogue, uh, Taze Shadowhide. And Louise. I'm Louise, and I play the half orc monk BC. A lot of half We're all a bunch of half-fees. Yeah. Half except, yeah. except for Flanders. Yep. So <clears throat> when they're talking about half, I mean, what are, is the other half presumably human? Or, I mean, do uh, yeah. dwarves and, and yeah. orcs get it on sometimes and yeah. have progeny? And then you're a half-dwarf, half-goblin or something? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's not a good thing. When some of these things come into pass. Some of them are <laughs> cool, but some of them are not happy. I, I'd like to be, a, in the next game, maybe be a half orc, half, um, I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, a quarter half, orc. Half fairy. Oh, okay. yeah, half fairy. Okay, so, okay, so I want to be a goblin. I want to be a half goblin and half fairy. <laughs> yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Things difficult for me. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'll try not to kill your character then, so you're not making half fairy, half work characters. <laughs> um, so Nick is not here. Um, they usually play uh, Micah, who is a, um, a tiefling, who is also not half. Um, Tiefling Cleric, um, don't know what happened to them, but, you know, we'll try to push on without them. Um, all right. Oh, oh. so does that mean that I, I'm, well, monks have healing powers, right? I'm not really. No? Oh, not, so no. I'm the only one who can heal now? Yep. Oh, it's man. <laughs> Actually, I think Effie has. A little healing something, but oh, it's not. Oh, phew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but um, just to refresh my memory, who was it that was that had slept in the tavern? Because you guys slept in different places in the last time we uh, we left uh, off. Uh, Kess was in the tavern. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was everybody except for me and uh, the teethling. Somebody went to sleep in the forest. Who was that? I did. You did? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Taze did, yeah. Taze yeah. did. Okay. But uh, Bissig and, um, and Kess, Kess were in there too? Yeah. Okay. In the tavern. All right. So we're going to get started. Um, and I think Micah was there too. And I'll roll for her. Um, okay. So... I am asking because um, uh, you all went to sleep in your respective places. Um, the last time we uh, we had our session, you guys fought a bunch of kobolds in the forest outside of Fell and reconvened back in the tavern um, for 
a quick meal before bed and to get to know one another and to see what your next course of action was. Um, uh, Flanders was it going to sleep back in his tent in, in by the uh, the tracks he saw in the the uh, the middle of a field. Um, Taze was in the forest, and the rest of Kess, um, Basig, and Micah were in the tavern. And I need, off the bat, sorry, um, Kess, Bissig, and Micah to roll wisdom saving throws for me, please. Oh, oh someone's going to knock over the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and as I always, you got can a use, six. Uh, you can use the uh, the roll twenty. Oh, that. were we gonna try and use the screen recorder to? No, nah, just not for right now. Broker. Too complicated. So, um, Micah got thirteen. Uh, who got what? Kes uh, got a. Kes Bisha got, got ten. Ten. Okay. So. Um, Kess, I am going to send you something. <laughs> okay. In a private message. Ooh, it's a whisper. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you still on Discord? Because I can't figure out how to do this on Skype. Uh, um, yeah, it's on Discord. Okay. People, people have secrets. Yep. People have secrets. Oh, man. Um, let's see. Whisper can do it. <laughs> we were playing, um... King's Quest. King's Quest. And so... We've been playing a, a lot of crazy stuff. Okay. Um... But you guys convene together um after the the um your night um i don't know where you guys want to meet um you guys role play while i do this <laughs> okay. uh well i guess i'll wake up probably when the sun comes up and get my stuff together and find i guess i'll go back to the tavern because i know that's where everybody except for flanders was staying so i'll make my way there what are you um, doing basically uh, what are you doing, Flinders? Um, <clears throat> so I also wake up with the sun, and I'm going to do my morning uh, unwinding routine, which involves doing my stretches and things and meditating. And I'm also going to search around to make sure that uh, those fish people are nobody disturbed the area. And I'm not going to... Uh, uh, so I don't have to roll any perception. I'm not going to really notice anything. Uh, so uh, once I do that, um, I'm also going to head back to the tavern since I know Effie and everyone else is, is over there too. And so I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, see Taze will presumably already be there. And uh, I'm going to sit at the same table so that we can start thinking about breakfast all right yeah um i'll probably be at the same table that we were at before so i'll just nod to you in greeting hello good morning <laughs> taze right right flanders right y yes i i think so <laughs> I hope so, because if you don't know, then we're all in trouble. <laughs> uh, Effie um, meets you guys there. She's, uh, she had actually um, come up to you in, on your way from, the, um, from your campsite and, uh, and walked over with you. Oh, okay. Uh, so there are three morning, of us here Effie. now? Oh, good morning. How'd you sleep? Well, I didn't get attacked by kobolds during the night, so that's a win. <laughs> oh, great! That's that's always a good thing. I didn't get attacked by fish monsters. 
That's good, too. Well, we're starting off the day right, aren't we? Well, almost. I need some breakfast. Yeah, so, uh, let's, uh, let's, let, let's go in the tavern. Maybe Jarvis has something for us. Okay. Uh, so, everybody convenes in the tavern? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, walks in, come in for meditation, I guess. The uh, the tavern is pretty empty still. Um, it's early. You guys were um meeting at dawn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so well, it's probably a little bit after, but yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I was doing my morning routine. Yeah. Your morning <laughs> constitutional. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> so um you uh you come in and um uh Jarvis is already awake. Um he's a little bleary eyed from the late night, but he's um he's it looks like he's getting ready some um some uh glasses <laughs> for for patrons. Um uh there's a cook in the back, you can hear them puttering around, um some clanging pots and um, uh, a lot of um, sizzling noises and things like that. So there's some breakfasts being prepared. Um, it smells wonderful. Have a, so um, Micah comes down the stairs and um, she's, you know, she's uh, sitting a little bit apart, and, but uh, sits down with you guys, but you know, at, sort of the end of the table, not really saying much, just sort of waves. I nod to her. Okay. Hello. Uh, morning. Good morning. So, where are we off to? I, I've got to get out of here before my, my um, mom gets up, so we should eat breakfast pretty fast. Oh. What time does your mom wake up? I mean, she's pretty. She wakes up pretty quick, but she m might come looking for me. I don't know, cause I I left the house pretty early. Okay. Oh, uh, does okay. Cause if I'm gonna be gone for a day or so, then there's if she catches me. Can you fit in my backpack? <laughs> I probably could. If I scrunch up a little bit, but you've got stuff in there. That's true. Okay. I'll, I'll be all right. We just, you know, let's... Gonna find these things? I'm excited. Uh, me too. As soon as we get something to eat, I'm ready to go. Okay. Um. um you know, y'all? Yeah. Uh, what? What? Uh, I was thinking, um, do we really want to go out there? I mean, there's probably a perfectly normal raven for people to be live in this town. Uh, this accent is harder than I expected. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, you're doing all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you um, don't... why don't we just, uh, just leave it be? No, we must take care of what is troubling these people. They've been so kind to us. Well, and I, I said I would. I mean, I don't want to turn around on that. I, they don't really seem that worried. You know? That, and that a different accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all it's about good. confidence. <laughs> Sam's really sold in it. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm too dumb to be anything else, so um Yeah, I I I wanna I've been doing this for, for too long. I'm too invested and in, uh, not to keep going forward. I feel like a boulder. That's 
that's really deep. <laughs> I feel like, like that's rolling really deep. Stone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta go, right? They they don't seem very concerned. It's true. And at this point, Jarvis comes over and uh, and he's he's rubbing his eyes a little and he says. You guys again. <laughs> oh, uh, well, morning to y'all. Morning. Good morning. Um, what can I get ya? Uh, we got some porridge. Um, I think he, I think Cook's making some, some, uh, flapjacks of some sort, griddle cakes, something like that. There's bacon. I made sure of it. Bacon. <laughs> I'll have a side of pork. Um, <laughs> I'll take some porridge and bacon, please. Got it. Uh, I'll, uh, uh, I'll, eh, I am very bad at accents. <laughs> um, I'll, <laughs> porridge, thanks. No problem. <laughs> Big one success. There. I'll have the porridge, please. But he really wants the bacon. <laughs> He's not gonna say it. He's not gonna say it. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Poor Bissing's on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Micah just says, I'll, I'll have the porridge too, please. And he says, I'll have extra bacon. <laughs> she'll have she'll have Bissig's portion of bacon and some a small bowl of porridge, please. Oh, Bissig's gonna be salivating next to her. Poor <laughs> guy. Poor guy. Um. So he so Jarvis just sort of nods and heads on back. So. So, uh, yeah, we were, I, I was kind of agreeing that the people don't seem to be too worried about it. Um, but because everyone we've run into always says how it isn't a big deal or anything like that. But I also feel like that shouldn't stop us from doing the right thing. To me, the fact that people are saying that it's not a big deal kind of makes it a big deal. Like, why are people being so casual about, for a small village, this is a lot of people who are just disappearing. Yeah, I, I've never seen this many people just gone before. I wouldn't have left if it wasn't for, for this many people. Yeah. Can you tell us any more about the people who have gone missing? Um, any similarities? Not really. I mean, we're we're not. I mean, we're we're pretty diverse for a small village, but there were um there was um uh. Two people taken one night, two people taken a week later, two people taken an, another week, and it's, I mean, um, there were two humans, um, you know, a, a, um, a couple halflings, um, a dwarf, and a gnome, I think. Ooh. So, I mean, always in twos. Yeah, they they were always taken in twos. I don't know if that means anything or if that's just how many hands they had. I don't know. Do <laughs> people hand. have, have hands, flippers, fins? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they. I don't know. I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to go down that path. 
my well, imagination can go in some funny places. Hmm. Well, just because they're gone doesn't mean they were taken necessarily. They could have gone on their own accord. Well, that's what Jarvis was that's... saying. Yeah. Maybe they chased the fish people, and the fish people took them to this wondrous kingdom with a lot of treasure. And they stayed there because they were enchanted by all the treasure that's there. You do have a big imagination. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a place I want to go. Sounds nice if you ask me. I don't think anybody's saying you have to stay or go, but I'm, I said I'd stay and I want to see this through. I'd want to solve the mystery of why these people are going missing and no one is caring. So might as well see it to the end. It's a chance for me to see the world as well. Micah says, <clears throat> well, I, I don't want to, I, I'll go wherever you guys go, I guess. It doesn't make any difference to me. Well, I'm not really into, I don't, I really don't think there's anything odd about this, but um, I'll guess I'll stay, stick with you if I have to. Thanks, Kess. So that the campaign can go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... You feeling okay? You, you seem oh. pretty into it with last, ni uh, last night. Oh yeah, I'm fine. I don't... I don't know what you mean. Hmm. All right. Okay. Jarvis comes back with the food. Um, he's he's got the bowls of porridge. Um. Uh, and strips of bacon and stuff, and it all smells very good. There's there's cinnamon on top of the porridge and brown sugar, so, um, mm. and he's, he dusts off his hands and says, you guys enjoy, um, uh, I'm gonna get ready for the breakfast rush. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jarvis. And I dig in right away. Me too. Effie pushes her double portion of bacon towards Bissig. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really mustn't. <laughs> I'll go on. Because he's used to eating homely porridge back at the monastery. <laughs> Aww. Come on, Big, I live a little. <laughs> no, thank you. You're very kind. Well, it's there. And I'm not going to look. I'm not counting how many strips I have. I don't know how to count, so... So, I'm not even looking at the plate of bacon. She just takes one and then chews and then looks away very pointedly. Sometime during the middle of breakfast, another piece of bacon mysteriously disappears. <laughs> because it tries to hide the crunching noises. <laughs> He's a little guilty, but mm, it's too good. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't had bacon since before his time at the monastery. So, yeah. Hey, you got something on your chin there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wipes immediately. <laughs> his face looks a little red. <clears throat> it's very early in the morning. <laughs> To remind everybody, since you guys are all new players, that you can make insight checks 
Not necessarily on this egg. <laughs> What does that but mean? But the, the problem is, is that we wouldn't have any reason to. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so not to encourage metagaming or anything, but I'm saying that if you in character would think that something is weird about somebody else's um, behavior, you oh. can do an insight check. Oh. Well, I, I, I barely remember people's names, so. I know. <laughs> I'm not saying directed I'm... <laughs> necessarily at you, just to yeah. people in general. Because I'm, I'm not rolling an insight check. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do one on Kaz. Just, just. I mean, I know we were all kind of quick on this last night, but yeah. <clears throat> so insight, just click on insight. Yeah. <laughs> I notice nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> My God, this bacon is so good. Oh, I haven't had bacon cooked like this in forever. Very distracting bacon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the porridge. I mean, gosh, these spices. <laughs> Who put cinnamon on their porridge? It's such a great idea. Oh, one of them. <laughs> that seems oddly spicy this morning. Hmm. Can I do one? Yes. Oh uh, well. It depends on what your character is. Yeah, if you're if you think your character would think that there's something fishy going on, then you can roll an insight check. Uh, sure. Why not? Um, do I just roll twenty? Uh, roll a d twenty and add your um. There's an insight modifier on on your uh, character sheet. I don't know if you're um, pro uh, okay. you're proficient in insight or not. It's wisdom, I believe. Uh, uh, I guess I don't. Okay. Excuse me. I rolled a 16. Okay. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 17 plus three. 17 plus 3, so... Ooh, 21? 20. 20. I can add. <laughs> <laughs> so... What calculators are for? Yeah. Um... Uh, Bissig, you... You sort of notice that something seems a little weird, but you can't say what it is or not. You Maybe did they just... Uh, uh, he just... Kes just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Okay. okay. So, um, so y you eat your breakfast. Everything's really good. Um, Jarvis comes by and, um, it's, uh, it, I mean, it's on the house and, Effie's been really good to, to us here, playing our music and stuff, usually. And she brings in a lot more people during your rushes, so you're fine. Just for if you're sure. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're good. Just, uh, yeah, it just, so long, it, you're, it's, it's early, and so long as you're out before the big rush is at, it comes in. Thank you. Um, Thanks, Jarvis, profusely. <laughs> Effie uh, checks her bacon plate. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we're supposed to go to the north after this, right? We're going to hit the northern trail? Yeah, there... uh, there's a lake that we were going to go see. Yeah. Yeah, there's a the lake and um it's uh and we can follow the stream. I it comes from there. Okay. <clears throat> so you guys leave the tavern? Yep. I ate my entire yeah. side of pork. <laughs> <laughs> the cook is glaring at you from <laughs> across the thing to make you make him I do a whole roast. I uh also uh, since I ate a whole roast, uh, strategically forget 
uh, ten silver on the tabletop. Okay. Chess also leaves nice. a five silver tip for all, all the trouble. Okay. Aw. Aw. Okay. Great. Um... <clears throat> so, y- you guys leave the tavern. Um, uh, it's a beautiful morning. Um, it's a little brisk, um, but uh, you journey up towards um, the uh, it, uh, towards the west to to the stream, and then up um, and uh, north. Um, the creek, the stream the, that you're er, traveling, um, along with is burbling and it's all very peaceful in the background, um, birds singing, um, and, um, sh- sunlight shining and everything seems really very cheery and, um, and lovely and all sorts of good things. Um, if you guys would like to talk or anything while you're traveling, then you may do so. Oh, I like the sound of bird song in the morning. I'm really excited to just get out of the town. I know I just got back, but geez. Thank you, Effie, for the bacon. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and she gives Bissig a, a wink, but like cranes her neck because you're so much taller. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else see the exchange? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm too distracted by the tr- by the leaves and, and the bird song. Um, Effie, can I ask, why were you, are you running away from home or something? Why were you trying to get away from, from your mother? Oh, she's just overprotective. She's, uh, uh, I mean, I'm 20. And she, and I'm an adult. I, I mean, I know that halflings, we live longer than humans. And so I'm relatively young, but. Uh, the thing is, is that sometimes I, well, I have, um, episodes where I sort of, um, black out for a little bit, but I mean, and I've hit my head and stuff while that's happened, but it's, it hasn't happened in a while, so, and I mean, uh, I'll let you guys know if it's coming on, but it, that's why she's she looks out for me more than you know most people do for their adult daughters. Oh, you black out? Yeah, blacking out. Uh, like I. That sounds worry. I I for, I am doing something one second. And then I have this sort of strange feeling, and then next second I am somewhere else. Hopefully you're not somewhere else uh, strangling a cat or something like that. I mean... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was dark. Wow. <laughs> that took a turn. <laughs> I don't know what happens during blackouts. I mean, I suppose you could also black out and... Uh, Come to dancing on the table. I mean, that happens sometimes too. I, I have done neither of those things. Oh, I guess that was just me in my teenage years then. <laughs> oh. In the shrine of Oelia, <laughs> where you were learning to be a paladin. No, this was way before mm-hmm. then. Oh, okay, okay. Tables and dancing. Oh, okay. As a Thatcher. As a Thatcher. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I'm, I'm making you... I'm making a quiet resolution to keep an eye on on Effie just in case. <laughs> I'm not going to tell her though. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, Effie, are you sure you should be coming here with us? Well, with, you know, 
the black as well. And I I don't mean to sound overprotective because I know what it it is to have parents like that. But, you know, it might be a bit dangerous for you to be here. That is... Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I'm fine. I went to Torosan all by myself. Didn't, didn't have any problems with that whatsoever. Um, and it's been a few months since my last blackout. So, fingers crossed it doesn't happen anytime soon. Okay. Well, as long as you aren't blacking out and then becoming a fish monster or something. That hadn't occurred to me. Oh god, it hadn't occurred <laughs> to me either, but now I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Sleep tight, everybody. <laughs> Flander oh seems remarkably unconcerned by everything. <laughs> Lucky for him. <laughs> <laughs> Ignorance is He gives her a wary look, but doesn't comment. I'm, I'm pretty sure my mother would have told me if I was a fish monster. <laughs> anyway, my last blackout was before this whole fish monster business. Mm-hmm. It was. <laughs> What is everybody else's story? <laughs> what What is everybody else's story? Sorry, I didn't catch all that. Oh, I was curious what everyone else's story is. Where are Where are you from, Bissig? I'm from a monastery, and I've only recently gone out to explore the world with the blessings of the monks oh. um, before then I was a slave for most of my life yeah and now I get to see the world and I feel like I am blessed to be able to do that now Aww. that's a nice story <laughs> uh, you're Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> what about Tays? Oh, I, I grew up on the streets of Torasan. That there's really not much to tell. Oh. Uh, what about uh? Hold on. Flanders consults. A, he's been consulting a paper where he where <laughs> everyone kind of notices that people's names are written on it. <laughs> And he's like, how about, uh, how about you, uh, uh, Cass? Um, I came from a town, like, a small town, um, not that different from Fell, actually. Um, I grew up with my dad, and we got into some money trouble, and now I'm here. Oh, okay. And... How about you, uh, well, no, we already know everybody. Never mind. Well, there's Micah, but Micah. Micah, Micah's player isn't here, and I'm not sure if I have it right off the bat <laughs> what her story is. Um, she has been hanging out in the background, um, just sort of, um, not, uh, like observing, but um, but is sort of keeping her distance. Um, if you want to ask, I can. I do have her bio here. Okay. Uh, what about you, Micah? Well, I I'm a cleric of Talos, the god of storms. Um. And I also came from a small town um, to the east of here, it's, it's southeast. Um, there isn't much to tell. I lived a life of seclusion. 
worshipped Taz, as a cleric does. Oh. Okay. It's similar to what the box did. <laughs> Perhaps. Music chimes in. <laughs> yeah, that's Sounds peaceful. kind of what paladins do too. Very solitary. It sounds sad. Is it sad? Is it sad being all by yourself in a monastery or a shrine? My mom's a cleric, but it's a village cleric, so. I kind of feel that that's why uh, Paladins invented chocolate. <laughs> invented what? Chocolate. You keep you keep referring to this chocolate. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, it's amazing. One day, if you're by Oelia's temple, I'll I'll share some with you. I'll take you up on that. Paladins invented chocolate? <laughs> is that true? <laughs> to Flanders it ask. is. <laughs> I feel like that needs to be on a t-shirt somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um. <sighs> so, um, if there's nothing else you guys want to say, um, so you spend the mo the majority of the day walking and just sort of. Um, taking in the surroundings. Um, at the break, um, you do have some um, some stores of uh, you know you have some some rations, so you you can take a a break at um at your leisure, um, and um. The you you do notice that um in the middle of the the forest there's um there's things are well actually let's see um how about everybody roll me a perception check okay <clears throat> I can do that roll a d twenty okay six six. So I forget what my I think it, is it mine minus actually. Uh, your perception. Yeah. You no, know, because perception is wisdom. Oh okay. Oh, you're gonna have you're gonna make me pull up your. Yeah. You're terrible at keeping up with your character sheet. Well, it's been like three weeks since we've done this. So I know. <laughs> I forget. I used to know what it was. Have it. It's a plus three. Plus three. Okay, so nine. I got a 17. Ooh. Um, I don't know. I forget what I add. Percept passive wisdom is like 10. Um, um, it's This is... Well, I'm going to say it's not passive. It's... Uh, oh, okay. i uh, sorry. It's, yeah, it's been for like three weeks. Yeah, I know. I forgot. <laughs> um, it should be a skill. Yeah, it's a skill. Nothing, right? Okay. Yeah, you add zero right. for business. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, Bissig rolled a 12. Okay, 12. Um, I, I rolled... Four. 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 Uh, 12 total. 12 total? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can math. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, so Kess is twelve. Mm -hmm. Um, what was Tase's? Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, and then Bissick was um. Ten, you said. Bissick was twelve. Too. Twelve. Yeah, and then I was nine. Okay, so oh, yeah, I didn't catch that. everybody but but 
Flanders <laughs> notices um, that it is eerily quiet um, this much closer <laughs> to um, Lake Horus. Um, you're, you made a, a good time um, since it, you started really early. Um, but yeah, it's it, the the forest around uh, close to the the stream is eerily quiet. Hearing bird song and stuff, that's kind of worrying. Um, no, there there is no more bird song. Right. Yeah. Up, up to this point. Yeah. Um, kind of going on alert. Uh. Guess is also, yeah. What? What? What is every? What is everybody goes, looking it's at? It's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this. <clears throat> um. And, um. Do you want to search around or? Um, yeah, I don't know what kind of, uh, I want to range a little bit further ahead of the others and see what I can find. Okay. Um, you, um, about how far do you go? Um, I, I don't know, like 30 feet ahead. Okay. Um, do you stay on the path, or do you go more towards the water, or more towards the the um, the forest? I think I'll head towards the water since. Okay. Um, fish things. Roll me. Are you looking for anything in particular? To see why everything's gone so quiet. Um. Uh -huh. You, uh, rolled me in investigation check. Okay. 19. Yes. Oh, great. Um, so you don't notice anything strange near the water. Um, but you do see, um, little um pockets of um like little sort of little divots in the the ground um in sort of a regular pattern and they lead um out from the sort of um disturbed ground near the water out towards towards the forest. Okay, um, I think I found something, guys. And I'm going to try and follow whatever these are, if they're tracked. Okay. Uh, you know? Cass says you know a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, if there is, uh, maybe it's a bit too big go back and find someone else to deal with this. I'm not turning back now. <clears throat> oh. Uh, your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, I think it's in my, my nature, um, I'm going to, because I'm guessing we're going to be moving in sort of attack formations and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's my uh, character's uh, sort of tendency would be to uh, protect Taze if she's going to walk forward down the path. So I would, my, I would use... Yeah, an... and I want a stealth too. Okay, roll me a stealth I mean, check. I know I don't know this... Eleven. Okay. 
I get minus one for my chainmail, but my stealth is actually pretty good. Uh, Let's see. Roll stealth. Roll a d20. It's 18. 18. So a 17. Well, you have to roll at disadvantage. So roll again and take the lesser of the two because you are wearing clinky armor. Roll a d20. <laughs> Rolling. Okay. Nine. Nine. Okay, so it's an eight. No, you get plus one for stealth. Oh, do I? Okay. So it's, but it's an eight. Um. Okay, so. Um. You guys. Um. So it's just uh, Flanders and Taze going ahead. Yes. I guess, yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, um, I guess Bissig's these who... Bissig's doing what? Oh man, we're breaking up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think we're breaking up. I think because you're probably oh. doing a lot of stuff. He's staying with... Oh. Okay. Um, so... He... So... Um, Taze and, um, and, and Flanders, you're heading into the forest following the tracks? Y yes. Okay. Um, and you follow, you... I'm losing you a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think the connection's getting all weird. Yeah. Did we want to try switching to mm. that one thing, or? Do you guys want to try switching to Discord? Sure. Um, yeah, it's fine with me. Uh, technology. Uh, okay. Okay, <laughs> um, I'll end the call here, um, and I'll call you guys, um, I'll jo just join the voice channel on, uh, Discord. Sure. Okay. Uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, no. Oh, Skype. It was going so well. I know. Let me see what, what the timestamp would be. Okay. It's probably about an, we're about an hour in. Okay. Hello. 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 Oh, everybody does sound well. So far, sounds clear. Mhm. Mm Am I here? Yeah, I see. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah, it's a little tinny, but it's it seems good. Okay. Okay. Um. So, um. Andy, where's a uh, Kess in this? Um. So. It was Flanders following the tracks and Effie and Visick staying behind, right? Um, Effie's staying sort of, it's trailing behind, but at a distance. Um, uh, Taze and, and Flanders were heading off ahead, um, to, to go scope things out. Um, I guess Kess also is kind of reluctantly following, too. Okay. Um, so, um, do both, um, Taze and Flanders do me another investigation check, since you're in another area. Okay. Roll a d20. It's 18 this time. That one was 18. much worse. Seven. <laughs> I got an 18, so that's a plus three, so 21. Um, okay, so you do still, uh, um... There's, there's a uh, tree cover here now, so there's um, spot, dark spots and light spots in the, the forest. Um, still bright enough to see, obviously, since it's, it's the middle of the day, but um, you see little plots of, um, of earth missing in, in places. Um, and you... Um, 
but and then you come to this um the trail sort of uh break off in four and um and there uh and you come to this area of deep underbrush there's just lots of bushes and um and um these like needly plants everywhere uh i don't like it okay what do i notice since i got a 21 um you you're looking around and um wait what's your hold on your that perception's different from investigation uh, your investigation is intelligence, so that's minus one. Oh, so 17. Okay. Um, you do see sort of that some of these needly plants, they sort of form shapes that are not as erratic as and random as maybe a plant would be, like, instead of branching out some of these needles coil in shape mm. I'm concerned that there might be some traps or something around here I don't see traps specifically but it just seems kind of disconcerting around here um are you saying that out loud? Yeah, I, I don't think in my head very often. <laughs> okay, because I want to check for traps then. Okay. Uh, that would be another investigation check, so go ahead. Oh, fine. Yeah, you don't find anything. <laughs> Damn it. Um... <laughs> At this point, um, Bisigenda and um, Effie are are uh, coming up, uh, approaching where the two of you are. What's going on? Find anything? There's some interesting patterns in the plants around here. That seems like someone or something arranged the needles in certain ways and it made me a little i mean the place looks kind of weird as it is and so i was just kind of worried that there might be traps or something around here did you find anything? yeah i mean i have no idea i didn't find anything just these weird needles basic wants to go and rest uh okay um go ahead and roll okay oh. 19 plus 2 so that's 21. nice nice um yay so basically you look around and um Kess, you're coming in right now um you're looking around and you squint your eyes at one of the shapes and you can see a sort of a face made out of the needly vines mm -hmm. and you're noticing as you look down from the face there's arm structures and things that look like legs and you see the the trail of little divots in the the ground they trail off and each and at the end of each trail there's one two three four of these hunched over shapes made out of needly vines Oh, 
um, she yells at everyone, stay back, something in here. And he draws his short sword, I guess. Okay. Um, what does everybody else do? Um, um, I'm definitely feeling weirded out, so. I'm yeah, and so do I, and so I'm taking out my hammers. Um, and I wish I could see the map because I would like to place myself somewhere strategic. Uh, I had not prepared yeah. the map exactly because exactly. I was not prepared for there to be a fight here at this point. So <laughs> I accidentally got out of there. So there is not, but there is sort of a um. Uh, um, it's not really a clearing. There's a, lots of trees in between, um, and uh, I'm drawing it out right now. So, is there a uh, tree that's with within my? Uh... Yeah, I'll just so I'll. I'll... I guess I'll... Well, I'm more of an attack guy anyway, so I don't think cover would really help me much anyway. Um... Yeah... No, um... I mean, cover really only it, uh, affects if, like, somebody is doing a ranged attack against you, so... Yeah. Um... But everybody roll initiative, I guess. Okie dokie. Oh. Sorry, roll. Roll, roll a d20. Initiative. Rolling. It's eight. 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 I Um, I don't know what your dexterity is. Hold on. I straight forgot how to roll initiative. Um, you can just click the initiative, or you can just roll a d20 and add your dexterity. Yeah, I'm looking for it, but I can't roll. Oh, you add dexterity? Yeah. Oh, damn, okay. So, 24. Oh, nice. nice. Hmm. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> What's my dexterity? Uh, I got, got this. You do not. I think our, our dexterity or the dexterity modifier. Um, dexterity modifier. Why is this not coming up? Oh, sorry. Modifier, and that would be twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. No problem. 22 for basic. I think our connection is doing is being weird. Yeah. Um, hold on a second. Don't you like it? Oh my gosh. Why is this not working? Um, okay. Well, what does everybody else have? Um, I have eight for Taze. Okay, eight for Taze. Uh, Kess? Uh, 23. Okay. Um. Natural one for Effie. Oh. <laughs> um. Let's see. Let me move for Monica. I am 
rolling for shit with this guy's. Um, four for her. Okay. Um, I think that's everybody. Okay. Um, as you guys start drawing your weapons, um, the, the viney, needly creatures sort of start shambling out of the, the brushes and, and bushes and things like that and, um, and start lurching towards you. Can't a day go by? <laughs> Bad feeling about this. <laughs> um, Bissig, what would you like to Don't. do? Oh, um, I know there's no there... map. It's just, it's okay, kind of okay. Hard to do this on. Here. So, and Cass has a higher. No, Bissig had twenty-four. No, Bissig had twenty-two. Oh, 22. Oh, 22. Okay, then Cass, it's your turn. Yeah. Oh, um, hmm. Mm. Uh, um, there are four of them. There's, um, uh, I'll give you um, clock uh, location. So um, you guys came out from at about uh, a um, you came in from the west part of the forest. You're coming in on um, at we'll say nine o'clock um, and there's one about um 40 feet ahead of you um s straight ahead there's one um to the five o'clock there's one at seven o'clock and there's one at 12 o'clock mm. uh to clarify would these be like they're actually the viney things, or is it like creatures in the viney things? They are made out of viney stuff. Like they're what m muscles that they would have had are coils of needle needle covered, um, like uh, vines. It's like, it's like if you had basically like a Christmas tree, like branch is coiled in clumps to make muscles of these creatures. Okay. <laughs> Would a nate be useful or- um, You can sort of, you can determine the, um, the, uh, the nature of these uh, creatures, yes. Um, I would um, say that would be maybe a bonus action. Okay, um, so I rolled a 14 plus 3, so that's 17. Okay, um, so you... You've kind of heard of stories like this. You haven't encountered them before, but you've you've heard of them from your ranger training. Um, these are things called needle blights, um, and they are um, creatures that um, it's basically that the um, the land and um, plants 
have been corrupted by some sort of evil presence. Um, if I cast Hail of Thorns, would that be my action, or? Um, it should say on the, um, on the spell, or ranger ability, I think it's the spell. Um, Hail of Thorns. Dead. It, oh, it is a bonus action, but since you already took your, your, um, your bonus action, you can use it as a, um, I would say you could use it as an action, but, um, yeah, you've, you've already spent your bonus action, so, but, so if you were to cast it, you would not be able to do an attack. Um, okay. Yeah, um, I'll just use that as my action then. Okay. Um, so, that does... Uh, next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon. Or ammunition. So, um, which one are you um, are you shooting it at? I'll say the one at twelve is A. The one directly in front of you at three o'clock is B. The one at five o'clock is C, and the one at seven o'clock is D. Um, I'll aim at uh, B. Okay. And I'll put it up there. Hail thorns. Okay, so your next ranged attack, it will take place. Or, um, yeah. Um, so Bissig, now it is your turn. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Kess, did you want to move anywhere? Or do you want to stay where you are? Um, I'm staying where I am. Okay. Bissig, your turn. Can I intimidate the plant monsters? Um, you can try. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, you get advantage on uh, intimidation rules, I believe, right? Sorry, can you repeat that? Um, you get it, um, advantage on intimidation rules, I, I believe, because you're right. orc. Or a half orc. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, five plus two, so seven. Uh, did you roll twice? <laughs> oh, shoot, twice? Yeah, because uh, advantage, so you take the higher of the two rolls. Oh, okay. Oh, 16. Uh, 16? Um, okay, so what are you, what are you trying to, what are you doing while you, to Im intimidate them? Uh... So intimidate. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Would intimidate. Oh, it's crapping out again. What is going on? Can you hear me? No, I can't really. It's being really choppy. I don't know if it's bad for anybody else, but it's. Oh. I got the feeling it's our connection during something weird. Yeah. Because it seems like everybody else is fine, <laughs> which sucks. <laughs> okay. I, I asked, would intimidate count as a bonus action? Uh, I would say so, yeah. So, with that, um, try to land a hit on one of the plant moths attack, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you can still do an attack, but um, in what are you doing to intimidate them? Oh, okay. Uh, 
shouts at them. What do you shout? I don't know, like a roar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. That's one. So they, they're, they're looking, oh. um, pretty scared of you. You in particular, not anybody else, but you in particular, oh. they are, they, they are, nice. they are afraid of you. Um, so you want to attack? Yes. Okay. Um, if I recall correctly, I roll a d4, I can roll a d4 in place of, uh, Normal damage. Um, that's uh, but that's for an unarmed attack. So, our, um, if you do if you do an attack, you roll a d twenty to to hit, and add your mm -hmm. strength or dexterity, whichever is higher. Um, okay. And then, um, when if you hit, then you would roll damage, which is um, great. Yeah, the, the damage of the weapon or unarmed, and then your strength or dexterity modifier. Sure, so I'll roll d20 first. Yep. Sorry, uh, did you say something? No, I just said yeah. Oh, okay. Go I'll go roll. Uh, so. With with the uh wait uh nine nine with the modifier that sucks uh. that does not hit uh. <laughs> um it you um what were you attacking with unarmed. Short sword. Oh, short sword. So you swing with your short sword at one of the needle blights. It just sort of lurches out of the way. Um, I think you get, um, as a monk, you get a bonus attack. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Um, so you, I think you can if, do an unarmed. If I... Unarmed? Uh, sure, yeah. Also, we are in oh, it's the same. Okay, <laughs> so it was also nine. Yeah, that, so that that does also does not hit. So you try to hit it with a uh, with a fist, and it just also oh. lurches out of the way. So is that the end of my turn? Um, if you want to, you had to move to get, get, go up to it, but if you, um, so I think that's it. Yeah. Um, All right. so it is the needle blight's turn. Um, it, um, the, the one at, uh, three o'clock is um, going to use a ranged attack on Flanders. Okay, of course. That is, um, a 20 to hit. That hurts. Is nine piercing damage. Are we? <laughs> um, and another one does a needle attack on. Oops, that's wrong dice. On um. Because the two of you are right at the front. 
Um, that is a 12 to hit. Hello? Did I lose everybody? Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, no. What's going on? <laughs> what is going on with this connection? I don't know. Did you shut down Skype? Like, quit and all that stuff? I... seem to have. Okay. Okay, well, hold on a second. This sucks. Yeah, you can try restarting, to the computer. Shut up. Should only take a couple seconds. Oh man, this is hard. Okay. Um Hello? Nobody? Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. Oh, this sucks. Yep. Top to hit basically kills level one folks. Well, that's if they it actually hits. That's twelve to see if it hits and then damage is something different. Right? Uh yeah. You got me. Understand what's going on. I never have this many problems when I'm on a when I'm skyping with um, my other group. Yeah, I don't know. They're just cooler. Or something. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Hooray. Hooray. Okay. I have to open up You're back. again. Um but um the one of the other um needle blights was shooting some needles at you, Taze. Um it was twelve to hit. Okay. Hey, I didn't hear anything after it attacked Flanders, so um, oh, but it misses. My AC is 14. Okay, great. So um, Yay. It, it shoots at you, um, but you, you're you quick and dodge out of the way. Um, a third one makes an attack on Flanders again. That is a 21 to hit. It's amazing how this always happens to me. You're big. And easy to hit. But you only roll 21s when you're attacking me. <laughs> I'm 
guys don't like you. Um, it's loaded dice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's seven damage. I hope you're keeping track. Yeah. Um, okay. And then now it is Taze's turn. Okay, um, I'm going to go after um, A, the one at 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try, I have two daggers, so can I do a double da dagger attack? Uh, I'm going to say sure. Yay. Okay. Um, so for attacking, what do I? Um, so roll, well, it sort of depends. Are you going to attack? all at once with both daggers or um well, well I, I thought i'd hit with one and then the other okay yeah um so roll roll twice um you can either roll a d20 or roll an attack once and then do the damage for that and then roll again um since you're doing roll 20 um yeah you can do the them one at a time have to log back in. Okay, um, but I'm not clicking on the daggers. What am I clicking on to attack? Uh, you, you, let's see. Hold on a second. Um, you click on the name in the attacks a box. You would click on the name of the thing that you're attacking with. Okay. So 13 for one. Okay. Um, that hits. Uh, and then you click the in the chat in the little chat box, the, okay. And then the second was nine to hit, which doesn't hit. So for the okay. first one, click on the name dagger in the chat. Oh, okay, I see. All right, so four for that one that okay. hit. Uh, and that was at uh, B? A, or no, A, A. 12. A. Okay. That Okay. All right. Um, Flanders turn. Do you have any, uh, do you want to, um, Oh, movement. Yeah. Do you have a bonus action or movement? What did you get for your, oh, well, eight. um, I moved, so I figure moving toward it with my movement. Um, can I do my cunning action to disengage? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, so you it took all your movement to get there, but the but um it's uh but yeah, it, it, if you were to move away then um it would not get an attack of opportunity. Um okay, so it is now Flanders' turn. Okay. <clears throat> How long does my uh bless spell last? Oh my goodness. Um let's see. Um, it says it lasts f for up to one minute. It is a concentration spell. So you, but one minute in action time is like 10 rounds. 10 rounds. Okay. So, um, and that's my action. So I'm going to cast bless. Okay. And who are the three creatures of your choice? Um, the three... Well, who's in my range? Um, basically everybody except for um, Visig and um, and Taze because so, they went right up to um, one of the needle blights. Okay, so that means there are only three people in my range anyway. Because uh, there's yeah. Effie. Effie, Micah, and Kess. Yeah. And you, you can cast it on yourself too. Okay. So I will bless myself as well. Okay. So, but which three? Because now there's four. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, man. Um, 
Who are the big damage dealers? Because that's kind of what this does, right? It really helps. Um, it... Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number. So somebody who rolls low, maybe, or, you know, who has, um, I mean, it, like, you could give one to yourself. Um, I would say just get, give it to, uh, Effie and Kess, because Mike is, uh, Nick's not here. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, so I'll bless myself, Effie, and, and Micah. No, or, I'm sorry, Cass. Cass. Yep. Okay, so, bless. And then um, I will use my movement, because I don't have a bonus action. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll use my movement to take cover. Um, because apparently these guys do ranged stuff. Yes. Um, so... You, but if I take cover, will I be out of range of the monsters? You know? Um, you can move up towards and behind some trees. Okay, so that's what I'll do. Okay. So that way, for my next attack roll, I can actually hit them. Yeah, you... Because they're just out of range with, if you were to, um... To get to them. Or to try to do a melee. Um... Okay, so it is Micah's turn. I have to pull up her character sheet because i don't know anything about what she can do um, yeah and now, and now she's blessed so oh um, no no she's not you keep getting that wrong. i do <laughs> um so i don't know what guiding bolt does i'm just gonna keep this simple and she's just gonna make crossbow attacks there you go because i don't know anything about what she can do um oh and i rolled a natural 20 for her um yay yeah nice yay um so eight plus three so 11 damage to the one at seven o'clock no five o'clock I know numbers, um, and takes it out completely because it did double damage. So you now have only three left. Um, good job, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> um, good job. All right. So, um, she's just going to stay where she is and now it is Effie's turn. Um, Effie, did anybody get hit? Flanders did, right? I did. I'm down to 17, so basically half health. Oh, no. Flan, flan. <laughs> oh, I'm stumbling a little bit here. Um, so she is going to do a um, healing word on you. Come on. Come up. Healing word. Let's go. Cast at what level? Um, level one. Submit. Uh, you get three healing back. Yay! Okay. That, that's helpful. Ooh. <laughs> it is. Woo. Yay. Um... <laughs> And then she is going to do... Are there any fruits on this tree that I'm hiding behind? <laughs> no, they're they're mostly... I mean, they're like pine cones. So if you want to chew on a pine cone. You'll <laughs> think with the guess. Um, I guess I'll do a thunder wave. Um, 12 to hit, that hits, and I don't know how to do 2 d Sorry, I'm like playing with myself right now. <laughs> Six 
damage to this guy, I guess. Um, all right. So top of the round, it is now Kess's turn. Hello? <clears throat> Kess? What? Andy? Oh. Uh, um. So she has her thorny thing and, and I, a bust. With my longbow at the at B. Yep. I just wrote B. Yep. Okay. Um, I rolled a nineteen. Um, that hits. Uh, and you don't even have to do the um bless thing. Uh, roll for damage. To attack. Um. So it's your. Um. It's whatever is for your weapon. Um. And then your. Um. And then your. Strength or dexterity, probably dexterity for you. Wait. Where is it? Um, 11 11 damage and that guy okay. is gone nice which one B the one at 3 o'clock no B okay. and C are gone yep. um, so there's just the one at the top and then one at the bottom are there any creatures in 5 feet of it um of which one? Um, there are um, creatures within five feet of A and nothing around D. Uh, in addition to the normal effect of the attack, the attack five feet of it must take a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes some piercing damage on a failed save. Oh, were there any around B? Yeah, there were. No, there was nothing around B. Okay, it's no, just dead. I'm by A. Yeah. This agenda and Taser uh, by A. Um, would you like to move or? Uh. uh... Um, can you tell me, like, the location uh, remaining? Yeah, um, A is remaining, um, at 12 o'clock, um, the one D is at, uh, 7 o'clock. Um. And you are, are at 9. Um, I get to, <laughs> um, um, did, uh, or did it not do the thing? What, uh, the Hail of Thorns? Oh no, I said, um, Discord might not have done the thing. Oh. The voice thing. Hello? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I can hear some stuff. I don't know. It sounds okay to me i don't know if yeah i heard i heard that yeah okay so is it it was there a, a, any bonus action or movement that you wanted to do um i just want to move closer to the vine um and i think that was it okay oh uh, wait which one did you want it to move move towards 
fuck? Okay, the towards A. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. It's now Bissig's turn. Okay. So um, there's still the one viney thing at A. Yeah, there's he still. Will... He's 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 taking some damage. He's he's sort of lurching with kind of a limp. But... Oh. <laughs> Shoot. Um. Okay. Sorry, how many damage last time? I don't think I remember. Um. Well, I don't believe that you hit the last time for your yeah. turn, but um, it got four damage the um from somebody else. I believe that was a uh, okay. taste. Um, how much damage does the Viney thing do? Do how much did it do? How much damage did it do? Um, to to um, Bissig. To Bissig, it didn't do any. I don't. It, I don't think it oh. had shot at. Yeah, I'm. At, I'm the only one that got hurt. Yeah. Oh, because you said he was like shambling around. Well, so he's, I thought, okay, never. He's just sort of there, but like sort of lurching every now oh. and then. Okay, I, I thought like because he was damaged. All right, um, I'll roll for uh to hit. Okay. So that's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. And you're adding your uh, your modifier. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll roll again for unarmed. Yeah. That's good. Oh. Um. Two. Twenty-two. What is it? <laughs> twenty-two. Oh, twenty-two. Unarmed. That hits. Oh, uh, roll Yay. for your. Uh, I believe it's D four for damage for yeah. your unarmed. Yeah. Okay, let me just. Uh. Three? So, and then you can add your um, dexterity or strength modifier. So that would be five. Five. Great. Uh, and it is looking really kind of rough. It's. It, you punch it straight in its face and it's a, a needly face and it feels kind of scratchy <laughs> on your knuckles but you know it's n nothing you can't handle big orc that you are and and it's it's sort of snarling and but like in a rustling sort of way and just um and lurching and it, it's looking pretty rough um, do you want to move or um, do a bonus action? Uh, and it again. <laughs> uh, okay. Great. I think that's only unarmed that you can do for a bonus action. I'm not sure. I'm not. Right. Great. Um, that's a 10 for intimidation. Oh, you're going to intimidate again? Uh, let's see. 15. No, he's, I mean, he was already scared of you, but he's not okay. any more scared than he was before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is that it for your turn? Yes, I believe so. Okay. I'm gonna stay put. Okay. That, that needle blight is really mad that it's been, uh, sort of wailed on. And it's going to <laughs> take a claw attack at you, Bissig. Okay. Um, that's probably not gonna hit. It is... 
five to hit. <laughs> so I'm guessing he misses. Um, okay. And then um, the one at D is going to do a needle attack at Effie. Oh my gosh, I'm rolling for shit. That does not hit. That was a three. Um, and that's six to hit. Nope, does not hit. Um, all right. And it shoots needles at, um, at Effie and she squeaks, ah! And then, but jumps out of the way. Um, <laughs> it is now Taze's turn. Oh, oh. Attack with my daggers again. Mm -hmm. And um, since Bissick is in um, melee, that there is sneak attack damage, don't forget. And Ooh, she's. Yeah. Oh no, is she blessed too? No. no. Okay. Uh, 22 for the first one. <laughs> nice. Uh, roll for and damage. 19 cause... for the second. Oh, well. Roll for damage for the first. Uh, you might not need the second one. Um, yeah. After the five. So you stab down, whoop, Whoa. hit the mic, stab down at the, the <laughs> needle Man. blade with the... Stab the mic. That was aggressive. <laughs> stab down with your dagger and uh, slice it down its back, cutting through most of, of the needles, and it falls dead at your feet. Um, anything else you want to do? Um, is the one it's... You would have to move it to be able to hit it with, like, a ranged attack, and it's not within, um, within, uh, your, um, movement. Yeah, I just want to move toward it. Okay. Um, like, down or off to the side? Off to the side, I don't want to... Okay. All right, um, it is now Flanders' turn. Okay, so I'm going to Hunter's Mark D. Okay. And so now I'm I am both blessed and he is Hunter marked. Um, so I will roll my D twenty. Roll a D twenty. Rolling. Okay, twenty. Twenty for that Ooh. one. Nice. Let's see what the damage is. Roll a d8. It's three this time. Three, and then I think it's plus three, I think? I'll take a look. It's either plus two or plus three. I always forget that one. I'm pretty sure it's plus three. It is plus three, yes. Yeah, okay, so six for that one. Then does, uh, and then I do the hunter's mark too, right? Uh, yeah, that's a d6, I believe. D6. Roll a d6. Rolling. Okay, six. Six. Whoa. So, 12 total. You hit him with your war hammer. You crack him across the head. And <laughs> it just falls over. Just clunk. Now he's being blunt. <laughs> <laughs> It's all that chocolate that the paladins invented. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's all of them. Oh, that oh. was all of them. Yep. Oh, okay. You live. We live. Oh. I was kind of worried because you said that there were four hunched around a larger mound and I was worried that the larger mound was like some kind of blight ant or something. No, you're uh it's those are just regular trees. <clears throat> Plants and stuff. Oh, okay. Um well alrighty. Let's see. Sorry guys, I'm Sam has oh, low well, attention that was fun. span. <laughs> so it's it's twelve <laughs> twenty nine, twelve thirty. Uh, so we can do our little wrap-up thing. Yay, we defeated these monsters! <laughs> too, 
bad they weren't the ones we were looking for. Mm. Why are there so many monsters here? I, I mean, we, I've been to this lake before on vacation with my parents. They've, we've never been attacked before. I could, I don't know if, uh, how are the birds? Is the forest still really quiet? Well, there has just been a lot of um, fighting in this area, so it is still really quiet. Okay. And, you know, you don't know if there's anything else in this area or this vicinity, but it is still really quiet. Okay. Phew. Well, that was a workout. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry. Um, actually, <laughs> again, um, Effie's going to cast another healing word on you. Oh, okay. You're the only one who took any damage, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So... What, what's the healing word, Effie? Um... I'm going to say, good job, Flanders. That's the good word? It is. Oh. It is a, a healing good job <laughs> word. <laughs> I figured there was some some bardling secret word that you had to utter, like I don't know, uh, I, I I don't know, um, stony mirrors or something. I don't know. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Yay! I feel better now. <laughs> uh, so you can regain six. So for a total of. Yep. For you. So I'm up to 29. Um. No. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Um. Should we head back? Yeah. Because we've been walking. How long? Have, what time of day is it? Um, by this time it's around, it's a, just a little afternoon. Oh, afternoon? Yeah, it's just, just afternoon. The oh. The sun is basically right out above your heads. Okay. So. Have we even actually made it to the lake yet? You're getting pretty close, but you've still got maybe another, um, three or four hours to, to travel. Oh, well we might as well just finish our journey. It's so early. Yeah, I agree. Oh, but wait a second. We should loot these monsters and see if there's anything interesting here. Oh, right. Uh, so anybody who wants to do and who, want, who wants to loot the four needle blights, um, you can do that. Roll a d20. I will. Investigation oh, checks. Okay, eight. Eight. Good lord. You find nothing. 23. Ooh. Taste buttons, all the things. My... Um... Wait, who... What did uh, other people roll? Hello? Nope. Oh, 13. Okay. Um... So... Between... Um, uh, between the, between everybody, you gave, you managed to find, um, seven gold and, um, and ten silver. And... Taze, um, um, you, you cut open one of the, the, um, the needle blight that you had, uh, that you had killed yourself and, sure, um, why not? and you find, um, a, a brooch, it's kind of gold and looks sort of like a um like a clasp 
to a cloak. You don't know what it does, but it's very shiny and looks really nice. Well, I think they'll take this. Um, I made the I. What was that? The sound is getting a bit weird for me. Yeah, you're uh, you're kind of breaking up. Oh, uh, um, I rolled a nineteen, and Discord has been kind of on me with the sound. Okay. I managed to hear. Oh. Um. The uh, so you um also um. I'll, I'll send you something in, in an email just in case you don't hear all of this. But you do, you're, you also sort of um, pry open one of these, um, these uh, needle blights and um, you find a pair of bracers. Um, they're, you know, they, they don't look especially um, interesting, but it, they're, they are leather bracers that you can wear with for archery um but they they um they, but they have some sort of symbols sort of engraved in them so they look special okay 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 everybody so since we're having audio problems and we just killed monsters. Yeah, we um, should maybe wrap up there. Yeah, so we're going to end our quest by having us walking off into the midday sun to end our journey. <laughs> to be picked up. Um, when does everyone want to meet again? Uh, in two weeks. Did you want to do it in two weeks or in one week? Or what does everybody... Yeah, because the, the schedule got a little weird. Anybody. Two weeks is good. Two weeks? Two weeks is good. Okay. Two weeks yeah. is good. Okay. So two weeks. Two weeks from now, we will pick up the quest. Yep. Sounds good to me. Um, and don't forget to get us your... Yeah, that's right. Who? What? Uh, we... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's breaking up. Well, we'll I'll tell you guys experience and stuff like that in the chat and just let me know what any questions you have because this is really bad we'll try to figure out our audio issues for next session hopefully it'll be better sorry about all the issues it's okay we got through yeah we we made it somehow um okay so it was a great session and um i hope you guys had fun um and i'll talk to you i'll see you guys on tumblr and uh we'll have a, another session in two weeks all right all right Sounds good thanks bye, bye everybody good night